And I want to tell you something, folks. I don't believe for one minute that LGBT believers are held to a different standard than our non-LGBT believers. No, all of God's people are held to the same standard. God asks us to live godly lives. He asks us to live holy lives. He asks us to live consecrated lives. And he does so in order that we might reflect his nature. And in reflecting his nature, we are helping to demonstrate to the world that the grace of God is powerful. It is powerful enough to separate us so that while we are in the world, we are not of the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we are called to be light. And light cannot look like darkness. It's impossible. You can't possibly be light and look like darkness. No, there is a stark contrast between light and darkness. And so it ought to be in the life of believers. Some people might wonder, you know, Pastor Charles, unlike many LGBT affirming churches I know, you don't preach every Sunday a message on LGBT issues. That's right. I certainly don't. Uh, we are not an LGBT church, so to speak. We are an LGBT inclusive and affirming church. By that I mean we believe all God's people straight, gay, cross-eyed, and bow-legged, all God's people stand on the same level ground. We're all together in this thing. We're all called to live it the same way. We're all called to pursue uh, a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ in the same fashion. And I'm not about, you know, bringing LGBT, LGBT people into the church so that we then can create some kind of a church hybrid or some kind of a uh, special quote-unquote niche church for LGBT people. No, we're part of God's church, period. And as part of God's church, period, when you walk into our church, you start out with the premise from the word go that whether you're straight, gay, or whoever you are, you are welcome, you are affirmed, you are on equal ground with every other believer. 